Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk and the Refugees. And just with the way we ended the last video, I still have absolutely no idea what I am doing with this. Because we've we've saved everyone that's come in. Um, we had a bit of a medical situation last time. But uh, yeah, we've saved everyone that's come in. And we've now got three days and nine hours until these guys reach the landing site. Now, I'm assuming, because that's where all the kind of story-esque kind of events have been pushing, is that that will be the next trigger for this DLC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have timed that. I couldn't have timed that speech better if I had tried. I've, I've never played this DLC before. I have no idea what happens. I could not have tried. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm even stumbling over my words. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's... Wow. Yeah, okay. Face the Lord's a looming threat. Captain, the lookouts at the beacon report a, lo a large group of... Strangers marching in our direction. We have to assume the lords are coming. Our people are afraid that their worst fears are going to come true. We're going to die in this frozen hell if they force us to leave. Even if they let us stay, they'll turn us into their slaves. We must be ready to fight. Okay, face the lords. The prospect of so many lords coming here has caused understandable tension. The conflict between people from different social classes could jeopardise the future of our city in the next few days. The shape of our society may well be completely redefined. Okay, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Okay, that's... Is that more than... No, we still outnumber them. We still outnumber them. We have nearly 300 people versus, like, what, 65? Minus the children, which is, like, 50. So, we've got 250 people. Come on. We can beat we can beat 50 with 250 easily. Right, in that case, what do we need to do? We need to improve the hope. I'm not entirely sure how I do that, but, okay, we need to improve the hope somehow. Can't do that because that's on a cooldown. Um, ba, 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 ba. I don't know what we do. Food's coming in just fine. I don't know what we do because the Book of Laws is on cooldown as well. I don't know. I don't think it's really worth doing any research. I suppose we could put people on that. Actually, I suppose, could we make a second coal thumper? Yeah, let's do that, so that we're not lacking on coal at all. Face the Lords, they are unarmed. Captain, the approaching strangers are carrying, are carrying no weapons. How do you know that? They're like a day out. Whatever their intentions, they have no means of attacking us, but people are wary. It's a trick to catch us off guard, the Lords are cunning. Those leeches would do anything to get back at us, mark my words. Well, let's do the the prepper stance okay be ready to defend ourselves if we need to just in case be ready to defend ourselves if we need to and then if we don't have to use it bonus simple as right right let's push on oh now we have a book of law right Raises hope and lowers discontent. I wonder actually, is there anything we can actually do to prepare ourselves to defend better? I wonder what would happen if we have the faith keepers when the lords come in. I wonder what will happen if we do that. I'm gonna go down that route. Ah, no, 19 hours. Yeah, no, it, they're gonna be here before the cooldown timer gets. Oh well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Right, so I guess we've just got to wait until the timer goes till they arrive, basically. And then we find out what happens. <laughs> and we're just about keeping up with our coal usage. Hopefully now this is going to go up because I have a second... I have a second usage. Oh, dear. 
way. Oh, okay, that's uh, balls. That is an issue. Steam hubs. Do I even have? I don't have more than tents, do I? Oh no, I do have. Okay, well let's just do that then. We'll do the outlying ones first, and then it's just as many as we can. Got two steel factories going. Wonderful. They are nearly here. The lords are approaching. Captain, the lords are nearly here. There are many of them, but they look miserable. They seem to be carrying no food supplies. When they reach the city in a few hours, they'll have no choice but to beg us for help. We will have to decide their fate. Okay, let's be rational about this. Let's be rational about this, shall we? Be sensible. Yeah, I know a lot of people are dying because we're having a medical situation, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Here we go. Finish your labors, so, let's see what they want. Lords in rags. Captain, the lords have arrived. They're starving. There's at least a hundred of them. A hundred, bloody hell, and more coming. They beg us to let them in, and that would mean sharing our food supplies and finding them shelter. We have a lot of workers. You will have two days to provide shelter for people and feed people. Hope will fall. You have two days to provide shelter for people and build industrial hothouses or hunters. Hangers. Oh dear, discontent will rise. I'd rather discontent rise than honest. I I can I think we might actually be able to do this. I'm gonna give it a good damn try. Improve the food infrastructure. The arrival of so many starving people requires immediate action. Besides housing them, we need to provide more efficient sources of raw food such as hunters, hangers, or industrial hot houses. Yes, we do. So Apparently the hunter's huts. So if we can do that, we can pretty easily build some more houses. That's not a problem. It's just the steel we're lacking on. Starving lords has entered the city. The people are not happy with their arrival. The lords, on the other hand, are rejoicing. Thank you, kind people. We've, we'd have been doomed if you hadn't let us in. Yes, well, you can not take over our city then. <laughs> Basically and you can help us out i'm gonna get backlash for this aren't i freezing homes captain people have gathered to protest against the cold in their homes they're angry that despite the health risks posed by the cold they you seem to be ne neglecting the problem they want you to act well it's gonna get colder so i can't do anything I'm trying to give you houses if you bloody build them. Too noble to work. Hell no. Captain, one of the lords refused to work. He says that such menial jobs are best left to common folk. Claims that he used to be a writer or something like that. Hells to the no. This is a community. You are going to work. I don't care. There's a hell of a lot of jobs to do. Get your ass in gear and work. I don't give a crap what you think. Right, our main lack of things is steel. So, and oh, we are lacking on coal badly. Jesus Christ. Uh, right, I'm gonna build another workshop because we need the research speed. Painful lesson, Captain, the Lord who refused to work was was battered for looking down on our people. He was sent to the medical post. <laughs> now, while I don't condone violence, because there's always ways to solve things without violence, um, yeah. I'm not hugely angry either. Kind of deserved it, but I don't condone violence. Violence is not needed. Yeah, well, we need... Oh, I'm going to have to build more coal thumpers, aren't I? We need the coal so badly, and we've got workers to spare. So, so what's going to happen, I'm afraid? Are you still... Jeez. 
Okay. That's an issue. It's too cold for the medical outposts to function. They're too cold as well. Ay, ay, ay. That is an issue. See if that fixes anything. Is that... No, that can function with that. Okay. Well, at least we can relieve the medical problem with that. Okay. I'm going to be needing faith keepers. New law. A new law has passed. Radio mask captain recently arrived to tell us about a radio mask they saw on the trail. Steam core could be powering it. Okay. 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 And we need more steel, god damn it. Right. Get it to work. We need to be working, come on. That's nearly done. That's done. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's because they're not functioning. God damn it. I never reacted to the generators. why that wasn't functioning you silly silly boy okay get everything going get everything going get everything functioning it's gonna be a lot of coal usage but get everything functioning how's our medical situation doing pretty freaking badly i need to know what the adjustment is because they're all going oh it doesn't actually move crap okay that's <laughs> yeah Okay, we don't need that because we don't have an issue with numbers. We need the more the more advanced medical outpost. That is an issue. That is an issue. And there's a lot of homeless. A lot of homeless. Right. We're going to have to just go with tents for the moment. And I sincerely apologise. But I'd rather have you in something than in nothing at all and if need be we will make more um damn we even with even with four coal thumpers we're still going in a downward spiral of coal that is not good yes i know i will happily build another medical post happily uh, where can I stick it? It's going to be warm. But the problem is with this, guys, like, you've actually got to build it. You've actually got to build this stuff. There's not much I can do if you don't build it. Right. Need. Oh, you're going to hate me, but I have to do it. I'm sorry. I need to do it. Ah, uh, that's still on cooldown. Ah, oh, two days. I haven't built the faith keepers. Arrgh! They're really expensive. And I need the the hangers are more important. Brilliant, is that it? Bloody fantastic. <laughs> I'm probably going to have been purged from the system by the time you get there, but. Jeez, there is literally nothing I can do. Is building another one going to solve it? Probably not. Yeah, no, it's not making any difference at all. Dismantle it. Well, I think that's me gone. <laughs> now, now, this could be critical. Open new... Seven new medical posts. Jeez. Jeez. 